Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Bayonetta. Let's just hop into the game. Hope everything works, considering we had a little bit of a frame rate issue about two recordings ago. Oddly, I looked that up, and it seems like the person I saw on the Steam Discussions forum complained about frame rates dropping after Chapter 9. Uh, not after... not in Chapter 9. So... Who knows what's going on? Maybe there's simply a bug if you leave the game running too long, you'll hit that point. I don't know. And I'm not going to bother to try to figure it out. If we run into any more frame rate issues, I'm just going to exit the program and start again. Don't panic. I'm here. There's no need to worry about a thing. So Bayonetta's back from her side mission. Mommy. Can't you see? Mommy's fighting the bad monsters for us. Mister, if you don't open your eyes, you'll miss everything. So she magically touched the glasses. So, she doesn't need them. Shit. Seems like the angels don't try to kill you, or they don't fail at killing you. If you can't see them, usually. What would that look like? Just somebody's head and automatically falls off and people don't know why? I have this feeling that the, the world that we're playing in may have spontaneous decapitation happen a lot. And boy, is there a lot of brush and uh, grass in this area. Interesting. And again, she doesn't do the kiss to destroy the barriers. Which just goes to show you didn't need that. He doesn't have the glasses on. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> so they have this strange uh, markings on the, their walls, which makes it seem like they're working with if not summoning these angel creatures and still we're still fighting these this plant creature which seems odd you wouldn't get a peek of it at the beginning but I guess they're setting up the surprise See, now Bayonet is getting too sentimental. She's going after the doll. Instead of saving herself or the humans. Well, Kitty, what do you think we should do? He's hurt you, has he? Well, we can't be having that now, can we? In 
so we've seen bits and pieces of this guy for a while. It seems odd. An odd way to do it. Let's rock, baby. Now she doesn't even care about the uh, the doll again. I suppose if you were gonna tease this character, what you might want to do is have elements of the character, the tentacles, the plants, show up before we had even defeated the previous uh, the previous in enemies. Oops. Gotta be careful here if I don't want to take damage. And see, it pulls out this element that is like a beating heart. And slices it right off. So let's... Oops. So now he's got another one. Uh, even though we sliced one off, I guess there's three. And again, we're having a little bit of too easiness. Punch this back this way. Having a climax attack right in the middle of this. Another, oops. Another example, maybe I'm supposed to just run. It doesn't feel like there's actually a time limit there. The orientation changes abruptly here. But we can see Bayonetta is getting stronger. She didn't have the slicing attack before. And... So apparently I was supposed to jump and didn't make it. And so when you don't make it, you end up getting attacked by these tentacles. Uh, many, many health bars. This is one of those styles of games that I don't feel particularly gets to the Western world as much as it is in uh, in Japan. Uh, the small, medium tier game that's focused around taking on giant bosses. This feels a lot like the uh, Godzilla movies. Uh, giant robot movies, uh, they certainly have a love for giant monsters, giant robots, giant things that you take on more in Japan. And they have a long tradition for a uh, history of that in their art, so it makes sense. I have no idea what it's going to do, so... I'm just standing, waiting to see if I'm going to dodge. Let me get a new demon. It's a giant... I don't even know what you would call that. Like centipede? Okay. Tap that X button, see if we can get it all the way to the top. No, we can't. And we just crush it into a bloody mess. Still not enough. You can go another round, can't you? Your soul causes 
the Lumen Sage. friends. I suppose one of them is an adult, so they should be okay. <sighs> so, slightly interesting there, um, in the fact that uh, that pretty much that. just told you that there was one point in history when the the light uh, order and the Umbrian witches work together to protect the world and it seems like this cult of Jebulus which I guess might be the right way to call it uh, is going to try to use her power to bring back Jebulus or resurrect him uh, their creator which sort of means that she's falling right into their plan that each one of these angels that she kills is willingly sacrificing themselves to make her stronger so no pure platinum unfortunately uh, if I had not taken any damage I would have gotten that this is probably a very good level to grind out halos too there's only one section, it gives you 20,000 for beating it. And I'm very happy that we didn't have any frame rate issues. I guess I'll just move forward assuming that that won't happen. And it certainly feels like, just by default, you are given some boards. Darn it. Exactly 30 points. Hmm. Um. Yeah. At this point, I've decided I'll probably just not ever use the magic flutes and cheat and instead just get a save file if I can find one or just wait until a save file is available. So. I, I don't think I need to actually buy any of these things, so... Hmm... But for 3,000 halos, is it really even worth... Getting that extra 3,000? I think it is! I think that's where we're going with this. From now on, we're just gonna save our... Save our halos and exchange them. So that we can buy... At least one or two items. Interesting. Where do we go next? Well, we don't go anywhere next. Interesting. So I've made a slight mistake in recording this, and I'll just fess up to it. I didn't start my timer, and I'm using a new software, so I have literally no clue how long I've been going. But I'm going to assume that I have about 40 minutes left, so let's move on to the next level. Excuse me, sir. May I have my glasses back? Huh? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Cereza, how did you get such magical glasses? <laughs> the glasses aren't magic, silly. I can see the monsters without them. Monsters? Not quite. So, uh, has Bayonetta, I mean your mom, been fighting these big bad monsters for a long time? Mummy is a witch, and witches protect people and are very strong. When I grow up, I'll be strong too, and I'll protect my mummy. Wait, hmm. you think witches do what? <laughs> oh, forget it. No point in arguing with a little kid. I'll manage on my own. I'm 
I'm sure you will. Mummy! Shit. You never cease to amuse me, Cheshire. I suppose that's your next target? <laughs> Now remember, we were on this top of an airplane one. at the you beginning of the game. Seemed a little gone, odd. Nope. She put a band-aid on it. Bayonetta. No matter how I ask, no matter how many times, you always say the same thing. Come now, Kitty. You know it was a all misunderstanding. Just... You're so stubborn, you know that? My father. He was a journalist too. In fact, notice how her hair clips to her arm bands. I wish they'd there was he a way to fix that in the game. case his entire career. A case so bizarre it took over his life. They could have made a movie of the details. The followers of darkness, the Umbra witches, then their light world counterparts, the Lumen Sages, controlling everything with a power known as the eyes of the world. Then the Light and Dark Clan suddenly disappeared from their medieval home in Europe. You may be familiar with the town. You're standing in it. Welcome to Vigrid, 500 years later. 500 years? So how did they have guns 500 years Each ago? Each clan, working at the behest of the powers that be, sought to lead their fractured world towards peace. They both possessed an eye said to have the power to create history that they used to oversee the world. However, their spirit of cooperation did not last. For amongst them, a pair of young star-crossed lovers conceived a child that sent the clans on a path to ruin. The woman was thrown in jail and the man exiled from his clan. However, the child remained with the Umbra, raised as a black sheep even amongst the darkness. Since the balance between light and dark had been lost, both clans spiraled into decay. The legend had it that the two eyes could be united to control reality itself. And this legend fueled ambition and desire, leading to a myriad of battles between the clans. In fact, it led to their mutual destruction. My father was mocked for buying such a fairy tale. However, I believed his story. And I believe it more than ever now that I've found you. The memory of the clan lingers on, despite the passing of 500 years. What on earth was my father searching for? And why did he have to die for it? I have to discover the truth with my own eyes. That's why I haven't given up my chase for it. Or you. The head of the Ithaval group, the multinational that dominates Vigrid, recently tried to sell an enormous gemstone on the black market. If he isn't selling out in the open, it means we're going to have to acquire it by other means. And that starts by sneaking onto that jet. I'd argue that Ceresa's hair is probably too long for her age, but maybe Witch's hair grows really, really fast. Are you looking for something? I am. How did you lose it? Little one. Do you have anything you really like? Something really important to you? Yes, this. I love it. Where did you get this? You gave it 
to me, Mummy, for my birthday. Now it's getting a little sad. Never lose it. Understand, little one? You must keep it safe, close to your heart. You can't see in the red ribbons in Teresa's hair that it does certainly seem like she is her mother. Now we just had a big boss fight. It'd be a little weird to go back into a big boss fight. Clearly there were certain fight locations and cinematic scenes they wanted to do though. Uh, fighting on an airplane seems like they needed to they felt the need to do it twice. Shit. And I guess they're taking the airplane to the inside of the city. The way the music's playing that almost feels like like that was gonna be the end of the game there could you imagine if that really was the end let's see interesting okay there's only one way to go and we're inside the plane and I have to admit this looks very much like an interior section you would expect to see in something like Resident Evil uh, what just happened there Oh, they exploded. So no time for gripping around. There, there's something here trying to kill me. In a weird way, if there was a censored version of this game, I guess at the end of the day, it, it probably wouldn't matter too much. Too many things would would still not get you past the in rating. Let's see if we move that camera. So somebody is summoning demons, so it must be Gene that's attacking me. Because we're seeing foot attacks with white hair. We're seeing all of all the things that we've seen Bayonetta do. Hey, and we got another item. I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out that we have missed some. No. Interesting. It's it's a little odd, considering... I guess there's still a little bit to do. There's two more demons to unlock. And on the angel side, there's one more normal angel to, to fight and four more big boss angels. So it feels like the game is going to uh, maybe rush us into the end game. We've done, we've done 15 of the achievements now. A lot of these are just, did you beat the game on easy or hard or very hard or some of the modes we haven't even unlocked yet. Purchase all techniques, that was an achievement. Discover half the Umbrian Witch's final resting places. Ooh, so you have to find them all. Right there it says. <laughs> and apparently we haven't discovered any Alfheim uh, portals. I'm not sure that they're available. Or maybe you have to do pure platinum moves uh, to achieve them. And I think we probably missed two of the collectibles here. And so some, some of the 
weapons that we might want to use are very possibly just not going to be available to us. How about this while we're over here? I could do this. I'm not really sure how many of anything I have or need, though, in all honesty. <laughs> so that was an entire section, and the game is slows things down when it tells you the scores. This game needs a no score mode. Just I I've played I've done this in other games where it feels like there should be an option to simply say I don't want any more of that. I, I don't want to see the scores. Tell me when I'm done. And it or tell me when I'm completely done with the game and not a second before because I want to just focus on this as if this was a cinematic experience and, and not, not have the feeling that oh, yeah, I'm supposed to grab this. You see that just broke. I'm glad they showed that cutscene though, because it was getting a little disappointing to not see her give the kiss off on some of these. Hmm. Gallahorn defense. Hmm. Seems like we're getting all kinds of backstory for the Ivanhoe group, which, you know, a secret multinational corporation. Uh, that seems like you're overcomplicating your story. Here's an interesting idea. What happens if I take this to the gates of hell? Hmm. Will I have it when I come back out? Hmm. Take care of my babies, will you? Some I... people may have a thing for the 45s, but to me... Yeah, we didn't need a secret God. organization crammed into the story. We already know the Lumen Sages seem to be around and doing things. What is there to buy? We can't afford any of these. I have half a thought that if I buy this it might unlock these other ones, but that might also be items that you'll only get via other methods of maybe beating the game. And we haven't gotten any more treasures and uh, as far as changing outfits see that's the one thing I would like to purchase is I would love to have the items unlocked I'd love to have uh, outfits unlocked I am wearing the hmm. where am I supposed to go here That's an interesting chest. That wasn't a witch's tomb. Hmm. And this looks like it's supposed to be here. I guess maybe, maybe I am supposed to be up here. Hmm. This seems strange. I 
I guess I can get up here. Wow. What a... What a weird way to do a level. I guess they just wanted you to take a little bit of a break and... Look around for collectibles again. Remember that that's part of the game. This feels like we're just going through the same section that we were going through before. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I don't want to fall. I don't want to take damage. Hmm. And then we're back to this section. Seriously? What did I just do? Is there a door or something I'm supposed to reach? It, is there some exit or entrance I'm not seeing? There. Well, that was a strange distraction. So, I'm supposed to get on this halo ring. That took a while. This weird halo ring. Back to your old self, are we? Hmm. A little, little too cryptic there in its level layout. They seriously needed Why a better so team glum? making levels. Something troubling you? Only your constant fretting over my state of affairs. I've no time to play games with you. No need to take out your stress on me, Bayonetta. It's clear you're worried for the girl. <laughs> well, apparently she can magically control bullets. That's new. It when she calls you mummy you're absolutely delusional if I leave her he'll never shut up about it and his whining is twice as irritating as anything the child could muster hmm. <laughs> you've quite the tongue when it comes to curling round the truth and what about you what are you hiding Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these might mean something to you. 
I've no need for worthless junk. I am well aware of my task, but you have forgotten that I do not need your help. <laughs> So she's working with the angels, we already knew that. She goes in the witch time and makes a ice spear out of the condensation. Fill your eyes with hatred. Accept your violent fate. Accept it and earn the left eye. Prove you deserve it. <laughs> Took a little bit of time to load there in that section, which is odd for an SSD in a manual game. So, one of the points that might be the case is if one of the eyes of the world can change the history and make it whatever they want, this may be a story where everything that you've ever heard about bad about witches in this world may have been not actually true that they'd simply use the left eye to change the history and make everybody hate witches Feel your fear. if that was the case then uh, then it makes the story a little bit more easier to understand uh, I think it Maybe I'm writing the story better than the writers are, but there is an implication that that might be the case. It would certainly help change the story to make the witches the good guys, and when almost every story has witches as bad guys. Cereza. I was a little too short again. And too many storms happening at this point. This is like the third or fourth storm which she's been in. Not yet. She isn't ready. Seems like Jean is trying to fill me with rage. Hmm. No, I can't go there you go let's just go ahead and close this I just kind of ran through that and took the damage instead of trying to avoid it I suppose it's worth pointing out that this was a terrible way to parent. Like, if you're telling your children no crying, you're probably uh, causing some some mental damage if you do it too often. Like, 
like telling a person not to express their emotions is the is effectively telling them to bottle up their emotions, which is not going to turn out well. So I have to pick her up and then fight these guys. And these are hardly difficult angels, but the picking up and then carrying and then putting back down. Uh, It's kind of repetitive. If I could have put her down once and then fought all three of those, I would have preferred that. Um, where am I supposed to go? I suppose we've got some flying food creatures. Time for the chainsaw again. We'll get to see the chainsaw in the Phantom Vision. And every time you can do a torture attack, you want to do a torture attack. Oh no. While I was doing the torture attack, time was moving. So I I think she drowned as as the uh I was supposed to have done something like this instead. I didn't realize I had the moon ability. So then I can kill these guys. And now I can probably do a torture attack and be fine. Yeah, every time you do this, you get some extra bonus ring halos. Which certainly seem useful. That didn't even work. Seems like witch time stops if you if you're not hurting somebody. And then moon, the moon gets covered again. And we died. And <laughs> we missed two sections. Hmm. Which gives us the silver award. But so far we have not gotten the bronze or the stone award. So I'm still a little happy with that. Uh, the question is do I want to go for another section? I feel like what's gonna happen is we'll find out that Wow. Miss that. Hundred and five. So that might be an achievement right there. Hmm. I'll buy one of these and I'll buy one of these purple ones, I think. Then exchange the rest. Although I probably should have just uh, exchanged all of it. So I don't know if this is going to be another boss fight or not. Actually, I kind of think I do know what this section is, so... 
if it is the section I believe it is, this will be cool. We're gonna get away from the regular gameplay again, uh, which again is just evidence that the ambition is much higher than the actual final product. No uh, matter how much you ask, I'm not putting a chainsaw on your arm. And there so was similar issues from what I've heard of people that played near Automata, which is the newest Platinum game, uh, where they've designed it in such a way that you play the game over and over and over again, which can leave a lot of people that don't finish it the first time to feel like the game's pretty short or just have the game feel a little odd in the first place. So this bloody rose lollipop and the purple magic lollipop are the only ones that I can still buy. And I was gonna get an accessory. We have a hundred thousand, so we could either save up for this. Braces blessed by Shiva, the Indian goddess of destruction, said to have been crafted by the witch Yaxi while serving under the that empire, the VJ Nagararia Empire. Is that a real world or is or are they just making up a dirty word and hiding it in a weird spelling. Legend states braces have the power to repel an enemy's attack. Uh, Yaxi was purported to have been invincible and a mastery of, her, of this technique allowed her to nullify any attack no matter what the strength. Press left stick in the direction of your enemy the instant you're attacked. I could see why you'd want that because anything that increases the odds of you not taking damage also increases your score. Let's see. Curse braces contain the soul of this. Placing these braces upon one's arm is said to be an affront to paradise, summoning upon its wearer the wrath of heavens. During the witch hunts, the witches were forced into gauntlets. These were brutally, in which she was brutally murdered by angels. So some of these items don't help at all. They're bad for you. But by getting more people to attack you, you might get more of a challenge or you might get higher points. Hmm. Magical beads. Uh, uh, let's see. When its user dodges incoming danger, the beads launch a magical counterattack against the attacker. So that's a good one. Let's see. Do they allow the user to... Replenish their vitality by taunting an enemy. I don't, really haven't been taunting enemies. Slaying is light. Which time will be instantly uh, triggered when expending magical power. I think Selena's light is the one we're going to buy. But let's look at everything first. Uh, it is said that long ago the witch crafted these. Let's not read all this. Absorbs attack on their behalf before breaking up. Wait. Butterflies of protection flutter around the bracelet user and absorbs attacks on their behalf before breaking up. So a second item that would stop you from taking damage. Clearly this game is focused around the, the idea of not taking damage. Uh, hold Y and B to activate the magical effect depletes magic gauge. So, this feels like it is an infinite amount of the horns that I've been saving up. Let's see. Allows the user to call upon the strength of a demon which they are contracted and divide themselves into multiple beings. Hmm. Hold Y and B to activate the effect to please magical. Attack. So it seems like there's no less than two things that would be very, very helpful extra on top of Selena's Light and Moon of Mahakala. Wait, but those are the first two I want to buy, certainly. Uh, will I actually be able to afford all of this? I, I don't think so. Uh, the more I think about it, the more it feels like 
the game is going to rush me towards the end, there's going to be probably a significant amount of of boss fights, but I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't any more areas where you actually walk around. It feels pretty obvious that they ran out of budget to make level design halfway through this game. We, we've been around the city of Vigrid three different times and every other scene seems to only happen once. Uh, and I suppose that's for the better. Now because I made the mistake and don't know how long I've been going, I think it's probably appropriate to just end this recording here. So if this is the 25, 30 minute recording, it won't be 25 minutes, but if this is only 40 minutes, I'm sorry. If this is an hour and 10 minutes, I, I guess you got a little extra. That's it for this recording though. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.